Esther from Montana is recognized for five minutes. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Chairman. And I want to thank both Secretary Yellen and uh, Chairman Powell for being here today. Chairman Powell, thank you for your continued service. And Secretary Yellen, it's good to see you back in the game again. Uh, thank you. I'm, I'm going to start with uh, Chairman Powell. Um, following, following the passage of the American Rescue Plan, uh, the Federal Reserve upgraded your economic projections. The FOMC estimated last week GDP will, will, will rebound and unemployment rates uh, decrease more quickly. Uh, but as you've highlighted already today, uh, we still have a ways to go. Over the past year, I've uh, shared your concerns of undershooting the economic recovery. And there are still many small businesses, workers, and families in Montana and across this country that are struggling because of this pandemic and the economic crisis it has created. How concerned are you uh, about inflation uh, once the economy uh, gets on the plus side? Well, let, let me say, we, we take the 2% inflation target uh, very, very seriously. It's half of our mandate. So we're strongly committed to inflation at 2% over time. To us, that means inflation expectations need to be anchored at 2%. And that means that inflation has to average 2% over time. So it's absolutely fundamental that we achieve that. In the near term, we do expect, as many forecasters do, that there will be some upward pressure on prices. And also there'll be a technical thing, a base effects as the very low readings from April, April and March of last year drop out of the 12-year calculation. Uh, we don't expect that, those, uh, that that upward pressure will produce uh, substantially higher prices or that the effects will be persistent. We expect that there'll be transitory or temporary. If we if it turns out that we do see substantially higher inflation, you know, that would risk uh, a, a persistent inflation materially above our goal, then, then of course we would use our tools to bring inflation back down to 2%. And, and, and from what you just said, then you anticipate there could be some upward pressure, but, but, but long-term you don't see this as being an issue. Long term, we think that the, the inflation dynamics that we've seen around the world for a quarter of a century are essentially intact. And we, you know, we've got a world that's short of demand with very low inflation. The U.S. has had low inflation for some time, and we think those dynamics haven't gone away overnight and won't. Okay, thank you, Chairman Powell. Uh, Secretary Yellen, uh, I, I see you're working from your home. Uh, there's a bunch of decisions that you have to make uh, about uh, how this money is going to go out and what it can be used for and the kind of flexibility that's out there. I'm talking about from the American Rescue Plan. Um, different localities face different challenges. Um, uh, but but the fact is, is that uh, there was a, a, a concerted effort to make sure that, that, that we get some money to municipalities without the state skimming off uh, any money. And not only uh, municipalities that are large, but municipalities of all size, sizes. Uh, the question is, is uh, are you committed to making sure that these funds make it to the smallest of towns that haven't received any assistance yet uh, without the state skimming off any money uh, off the top or adding additional restrictions that weren't included in the legislation or Treasury's guidance? Well, we're, we're committed to um, following the instructions that Congress gave us, and I would agree that that was... Congress's intention where we have about 60 days to write the guidance on the use of those state and local funds. We're consulting broadly. Uh, Congress intended for there to be a lot of flexibility in how state, states and localities can use those funds, and we will certainly try to make sure that they're distributed as Congress intended and that the flexibility is there. Although we also want to make sure that um, there, you know, that we have requirements to make sure the money is used responsibly in accordance with Congress's uh, direction. I, I appreciate that. When, when do you, uh, you say you got 60 days to, to write up the guidance. Could you give me a ballpark figure? You're gonna, will it take the full 60 days for the guidance for municipalities or do you intend to get it out sooner? Um, we're working as hard as we possibly can on this. There are a host of issues about um, how to interpret the requirements of this statute. Um, I don't want to promise that it will take less than 60 days, um, but we're going to try to get this done as soon as we possibly can. I, I appreciate that, and I appreciate your hard work on this. I, I get questions all the time about the flexibility of how these monies can be used. By the way, this 
the, the municipalities or, or counties in Montana are very thankful for these dollars. They've been running on shoestring budgets forever, and this is the first time they're going to be able to make some real improvements in their counties and, and municipalities, um, and, and plus being able to pay for police officers and fire departments and make sure the garbage gets picked up. So thank you very much. I appreciate both of you, and uh, we look forward to visiting on down the line. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thanks, Senator Chester. Senator uh, Crapo from Idaho is recognized.